Welcome once again to my channel. My name is Chief Rin, and uh, let's talk about why a lot of people regret going to university. You know, this is not a common issue to talk about because a lot of people prefer to die in their silence other than to open up to others, especially those of us from this part of the world, the Africans, who don't like to share our, our views on certain issues, especially issues like this. But Others from the Western world that's so free with ways, they can tell you how they feel straight away. All right, you know, it is said that it is better you choose a course based on what you love and not what you think you should be doing. So when people abide by this advice, choosing courses based on what they love doing, what happens at the end of it all? Why would somebody come up to regret studying whatever course he or she has studied in the university? So let's look at this research published in the financial newspaper by, by the Barclays Apprenticeships. You know, that was published in 2018. You know, they carried out a study why a lot of students and graduates are not happy after passing through the university education. At the end of their research, 48% of graduates and students who left the university in the last five years regretted going to the university. Look at this, 44% say that they do not need a university degree to do their current job. What does this suggest? It then stands to reason that they are currently working in the fields that they did not study in the university. And this is peculiar to most of the graduates out there. Looking at it, 65% young people felt under pressure to go to university with 34% citing this as coming from their parents. 70% said that their parents would have been disappointed if they hadn't gone to the university. And 19% claimed that the pressure came from their friends. Okay, looking at the same research, a shocking number of 71% parents said they would have encouraged apprenticeship over a university degree to their children. 70% of employers say they value degree apprenticeship over university degree. What are these apprenticeship degrees? They are similar things you study in the university over time. And why are they different? They are different because you do an apprenticeship degree while on the job. You train from the day one, you started working. You cannot see the relevance of apprenticeship degree over university degree. So how then to stop people from feeling bad or regretting after their university education? If you have been to the university, you can understand a lot what happens in the university. A lot of courses are practical based, why a lot of them are not practical based. How can we ensure that young people do not regret after going to the university? Make the choice from the beginning of the right course you would want to study. Where and where would somebody who studied a particular course that you are interested in work? Don't go to uni because your parents want you to go to uni. A lot of young people are, are overexcited about going to the university. They see education as a process, a means of going through one level to the next level. When you finish your secondary education or your high school, you're going on to college or polytechnic or university because this is what is obtainable in the society. Now you are excited because you've gained admission. What course would you want to study? You can just name a course. I want to become a medical doctor. You know that kind of, um, when they say write a composition about yourself, what would you like to become in future? In future? Some people would go on to say, yes, I want to become a medical doctor. Uh, medical doctors, they save life. This is where I want to become a doctor. You know, a lot of people will say, yeah, I want to become a newscaster because they report news in the television. Without considering the underlying processes you have to go through before becoming a practicing doctor. You know, you don't know the duration of the course. You don't know the processes involved. You've just said this as a child and you continued with this. And it happens whereby you do not have educated parents who can guide you through what you are going to expect in the process. You then rush into the university with that mindset. First year, second year. <laughs> then you start feeling as if you've made the greatest mistake, you've made the wrong choice. And then a lot of you will find it difficult to withdraw. At the end of the four years, you begin to look as if you've just been woken up from a huge nightmare. 
parents are also not helping matter in this. They like taking pride. Oh, my child, he just finished up. He just graduated from the high school, that secondary school. She, he or she will soon be going over to the university. Oh, my son, he's not doing his second year. I want him to become a doctor. I want him to become a lawyer. I want him to become this and that. Have you ever discussed the content of what is required of a particular course with your child? As you mean your child wants to study engineering. Have you ever sit your child down to talk about the contents of engineering, different branches of engineering, civil engineering, electrical engineering, chemical engineering, building engineering, and so, so, so. Okay, which of these would you like to measure? Which one of these is it crafted in? Or you just want him to go to the university and become an engineer without discussing all these things with him or her? Don't forget that in the secondary school, they begin to tell you that, yeah, these are the courses to study engineering, medicine. They don't name the branches of all this subjects and this is how a lot of us rush into the university with the mindset that when you get in you're studying just engineering you wouldn't understand that engineering have branches and each of the branch you have to go through a lot of processes in order to become one a lot of practicals a lot of theoretical works texts and what have you so most often parents should please allow their children to make choice of the courses they would love to study their role is to guide them and not to make these choices for them because it might end up hurting them or they might end up feeling bad about the course they choose to study at the long run. Another reason a lot of people have regretted going to the university is because a lot of them are not practicing what they studied in the university. A lot of them are working in different fields outside what they studied in the university. They do not have the chances to practice that profession which they have spent four years of their life, or more than that, studying in the university. A lot of people regretted or are regretting because they are currently occupying job positions that do not work their qualifications. You might be one of them. You can attest to this. You can imagine a situation where somebody who studied chemical engineering is a cashier in the bank. Definitely the person will be feeling unsatisfied the person will be feeling sad. A lot of people are doing some jobs that they do not need a university degree to do. That is the problem. So they, they now found out that definitely my time in the university was sort of wasted. I shouldn't have gone to the university if I had known. I would have learned something. I would have trained myself. I would have learned a job, learned a trade, or do something. A lot of people are sad. Because they are doing many jobs. After spending four years in the university, they spent money, they spent time. They still come back to pick up a job that do not require any qualifications, that do not require the stress they went through in the university. You see why a lot of people regret going to the university? You can attest to that because you know one or two people that are doing something that they are not supposed to be doing in their level. Even some who went on to do their master's degree, PhD, they are in a lesser job positions. Isn't that enough for people to be sad? Isn't that enough for people to regret? How best can young graduates or intending graduates overcome this regret at the end of their academic year? Is by choosing to do that course that you have passion for something you would love to do and something you think you should be doing at the end of your educational qualification and another is this you try to learn a skill attach a skill to that so that at the end if you do not fit in into that particular profession you have studied you can start by working with the skills you have acquired i think this is the best way to go about it